Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained. Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years. Rahman Music Sheets. This exclusive episode takes us from USA to Japan to the United Arab Emirates when young students paid unique tributes to Rahman. Tributes that Rahman cherishes. Berkeley College of Music, Boston, USA. The largest independent college of contemporary music in the world. In recognition of Rahman's musical legacy, his original scores and songs and films, Berkeley College of Music conferred an honorary doctorate on Rahman. It is my pleasure and great honor to present this honorary Doctor of Music degree to A.R. Rahman. For Rahman, once it was a dream to learn music at Berkeley, but destiny had other plans. There's a little story I want to tell you. Around 89, we were the backing band for El Shankar, who's an amazing, iconic musician. So I asked him, like, which is the best college in the world? He said, Berkeley. And uh, so, what do they teach? So he said, this jazz and all, all kinds of stuff. Okay, I want to join Berkeley. I want to uh, build a studio for my mom so I can get the rent for her and she's sorted for the family and I'll go for two years and learn something. So. A couple of years later, he brings a prospectus and says, here, this is it. Go get learning. And then an amazing opportunity came. Uh, Mani Ratnam comes with Roja. And he says, here's Roja, here's Berkeley. <laughs> To mark the occasion, Berkeley Tribute Concert was organized. 109 artists from 71 countries came together to pay a tribute to A.R. Rahman. Berkeley tribute concert celebrating Rahman Sir took a year to plan. At the time of the concert in 2014, we were already looking at 2.5 decades of incredible music. So our first challenge was deciding what not to play. We spent months sifting through Rahman Sir's entire discography, debating which film soundtrack and which independent song, which Coke studio music or which international collaboration we wanted to feature because our goal was to cover at least one example of every year of his career. was a labor of love and we spent nine months behind the scenes and a solid three and a half months actually rehearsing every single day. We weren't simply trying to recreate Rehmanser's music but we wanted to allow for the Berkeley community to explore, learn and then reinterpret it while honoring the beauty and the intricacy of the original works. <laughs> Rahman sir is the kind of mentor who leads by example. 
he was so humble and kind when he visited us at Berkeley and in his master class he was incredibly open about how he writes and how he experiments and this was one of his biggest messages to our community to keep dreaming big to keep challenging ourselves to keep looking inward as much as we look externally <laughs> As we were preparing for this tribute concert, we reached out to Rehman sir and asked if he would be open to having a scholarship fund in his name and he kindly agreed. The ticket sales for the Berkeley AR Rehman concert all went towards this fund and then Berkeley asked our global audience to also donate with the intention and goal of helping young, talented and deserving musicians to pursue higher studies in music. We ultimately were able to award not one but three students who were selected through Berkeley's official audition and interview process. A pianist, Ron Shah from Assam, a percussionist, Sarthak Mudgal from New Delhi, and a guitarist, Aman Sagar from Uttarakhand, all of whom are doing incredible work in the world today. <laughs> Seven thousand miles away from Boston, this is Fukuoka, one of the largest cities and gateway to Japan. Since 1990, Fukuoka Grand Prize has been awarded to many Indians for preserving and creating Asian culture. In 2016, it was A. R. Rahman. Students were not familiar with the song as it was from a Tamil film, but the music was so good that the students were thrilled to recreate it. Two thousand eighteen. Dubai, Bollywood Parks. It was here where 1,000 young girls came together to pay a tribute that A.R. Rahman will cherish for the rest of his life. What was it like? to put together the 1,000 choir of just girls. It was an amazing challenge. I'm Kevin Oliver from Dubai and I was the music director on this project. First of all, we had to audition many, many kids to finally zero it down to 1,000. We managed to get 10 music teachers, divided the kids into 100 kids each. Those were the pockets and I went from pocket to pocket working with the kids. I had about 20 girls that worked separately with me who were the leads and did the harmony sections.
we had to first record the song internally in the auditorium of Bollywood Parks. They have a fantastic auditorium. The auditorium wasn't, wasn't even big enough for a thousand of them. We had to really squeeze them in. Then we took them out onto the steps of Bollywood Parks to visually shoot this. Kids were fabulous. I mean, they were so excited to even just sing in a, a production of this size. I mean, no one had ever attempted something like this in Dubai. Why did I do the whole project? I had been a big fan of A.R. Rehman. Vande Mataram was such an anthem. I wanted to give it a fresh, modern, new approach. Uh, I wanted people to fall in love with the kids, the sweetness of their singing. It was great meeting him and it's been the highlight of my life. Thank you, Ari. Fire, 1947 Earth and Water. Three very important films in Rahman's journey that helped him venture into international waters. Their director Deepa Mehta joins us in our next episode. Stay with us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained.